hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing great please remember to subscribe to my channel so you can get some more amazing recipes and i also do vlogs on my channel so you can go ahead and watch those as well so guys today i'll be making a sorrow food cake i make two on my channel before one was a bit purple because i leave my sorrel puree overnight so the longer you keep your sorrel if you're going to make the cake it's going to be purple one was a little bit too red because of how i did the sorrel puree so today i'm going to show you how to get the perfect color to your sorrel cake without using food coloring all right so here i have two packs of sorrel i'm not going to use uh, both of them i'm going to use one pack and then i'm going to use half of another pack so we're just going to fold it in guys we have to check our sorrel we do buy the dry one because sometimes there's things inside of the sorrel like i find stuff in the sorrel before because i search it so search your sorrel dry sorrel properly if you're using dry sorrel if you're and if you're not using dry sorrel, still search it, all right? So we just have to look to see if anything is in the sorrel. And then we're just gonna rinse our sorrel off. So here, guys, I have some boiling water that I'm gonna put my sorrel in. So first, we need a cinnamon stick, so we're gonna add that in. Orange peel and a piece of ginger. And we're using some granulated sugar. I will be leaving the amount of ingredients I'm using on the screen. So guys, we had sugar into the sorrel, so we're not, we're not gonna add a lot of sugar into our cake mix. I'm gonna show you that as well. And now we're gonna add our sorrel in. So we're gonna leave this to come to a boil and then add our sorrel. So now I'm gonna have the sorrel in. So the color is coming already. So you don't want to leave this overnight before you make your sorrel cake. We're going to do it right away. I'm going to show you all of that. And now we're going to set our sorrel aside to cool before we blend. So guys, here I have some eggs. This cake that I'm making will be smaller than the one that I made the other day. That's my food cake. If you haven't watched it, I'm going to link it here and you go ahead and watch it when you finish with this one, all right? So I'm using some lemon zest. You can use lime juice as well. So the lemon zest is to cut the rawness from the cake, all right? So we're just going to mix everything nicely because we want it nice and fluffy. So we're just going to put this aside. So here I have some sorrel in there. I have three cups of sorrel. And I'm going to add some of the liquid in there. Because we're also going to use some fruits as well, guys. So I'm using three cups of sorrel. You can use three to four cups, but I'm using three cups. And we're going to blend this. So now I'm going to pour my sorrel puree out. Okay guys, now we're going to add our butter to our mixer. So you want to make sure you take out your butter from overnight so it's room temperature. So we're going to leave back our butter container. 
because we're going to use this to grease our bacon thin. Now I'm going to add my sugar. We use sugar in our sorrel puree, so we're just going to add that amount of sugar and I'm going to leave it. As I said, I'm going to leave everything on the screen so you'll see the amount that I'm using. And we want the sugar and butter to cream nicely, so we want this nice and fluffy. So let's cream our butter and sugar. So we're just going to have the rest of our eggs. So now I'm going to have my sorrel puree in. mixture into my container so I'm gonna have my fruits in and this have a lot of alcohol in there guys so I'm not gonna add a lot of alcohol to it but you can go ahead and add the amount of alcohol that you want to add to your your cake And guys, if you like a cake heavy, the more fruits you have, the more heavy your cake will become. I don't want this too heavy, so I'm not adding a lot. And then we're gonna combine everything together. So now I'm gonna add my vanilla and stuff into my wet ingredients. Here I have some almond flavor. I'm gonna use some rose water. If you don't have both, you can use almond or rose water, but I love to use both, so I'm gonna use both. I'm gonna add some vanilla. And guys, I did leave back some of my several juice, so I'm going to add a little bit in. And we just mix together. So at this point, I'm just going to add a little bit of red label wine in a little bit. Even though I have red label in the fruits along with rum as well, I'm gonna link that video so you guys can watch it as well. How to make your fruits. Okay guys, now we're gonna do our dry ingredients. So I'm gonna add all my spices to it. And some baking powder.
put this aside. All right, so now we're gonna do our cut and fold process. So I'm gonna add some of my dry ingredients in. And now we're gonna cut and fold. This can make your hand very tired, guys. So you go around in, so you go around, in, around. Let me use two hands, guys. So in, out, around and in, around and in, around and in, like that. So round, in. Around, in and fold. Around, in, around, in. So this is what you're going to do until all your dry ingredients is finished. So I'm going to do this off camera because it's going to take a while and then I have to keep on rest my hand. Yeah. Okay guys, so this is my sorrel fruitcake mixture. Now I'm going to put it into the oven. So this is the texture that you want. Beautiful. And this is without any food coloring. If you want it to be a bit redder, you can go ahead and add your red food coloring. That's up to you. But I did not add any. So this is the texture that you want. Beautiful. So we're gonna add this in. Okay, now I'm gonna add my mixture in. Look at that guy, beautiful. I'm still gonna have some Left back, so I'm going to have it into another baking tin. This is what I'm going to do. So you need to do this so no ear bubbles will be in your cake, all right? Okay, guys, so that's my cake into the oven. And that's the water bath, all right? So I'm gonna leave on the screen how much degrees we should bake our cake at, okay? And for how long. So I'll be right back to show you how the cakes looks when it's finished. Guys, the footage of the cake when it's out of the oven got deleted. Something is wrong with my phone. Anyways, guys, what I did when it was out of the oven, I had a red label wine on top of the cake while it was hot. So I hope you enjoyed this video and the cake is delicious, guys. You need to try this recipe. It's delicious. And please remember to subscribe.